one thing I love more than stop motion animation, and that's Black Sabbath. And chocolate pudding. And Hermione Granger. And yes, that's one. You see, I take good things and combine them. Sing me a song, Emma Watson! Get out the pudding! Let's... Expecto Patronum! <laughs> What's that? T TMI. Well, sorry, I, I don't speak in abbreviation. Anyway, stop motion, yeah. Second on my list of awesome things. You ever see Will Vinton stuff? Man's a god! Nick Park isn't so bad either. He's the guy who created stuff like Creature Comforts, Wallace and Gromit, and of course, Shaun the Sheep. Program befitting only the most awesome of shameless interactive advertisements. Unfortunately, Fleece Lightning delivers. <laughs> Developed by Green Ant Games, Fleece Lightning manages to defy the odds. You know, the, the ones that say a cheap licensed game on a phone will invariably suck. There's so much for that. This game's delightful! You play as Sean, the... <laughs> the titular sheep. Each level is a race through one of the most poorly arranged farms in history. Sean moves forward automatically, and you steer using your choice of three control schemes. So, there's tilt control, which... F that, and there's also follow the finger, which works best, and a pair of buttons. Uh, whatever, I'd, I'd take telepathy over tilt. Now, the idea is you have to get to the goal before the pigs. So the more pigs you beat, the more phone calls you get from the Humane Society. But the more you defeat in races, the more apples you earn in Fleece Lightning. Those apples are basically like stars. They reward all your diligence and skill, and purportedly, deter physicians. Even though the races only take a few seconds, there are 80 levels to play through, which, which is pretty freaking sweet. And the game also includes a track editor, although you can't do much with them due to the lack of a sharing feature. But for 99 cents, why, this game is automatic, systematic, hydromatic, why, it could be Fleece Lightning. That's Travolta. <laughs>